Hi there, we're back at Alcamilla Hospital. And I went ahead and grabbed that hammer thing that I missed last time. It's a good thing I reviewed the video, otherwise I might not have found it at all. But this thing is uh, pretty sweet looking. Looks like you could definitely do some damage with that. Doesn't look like any hammer I've ever used. But yeah, you've got... Uh, it seems comparable to the pipe in speed. You've got the two quick slashes or the one big one. I cannot wait to see what kind of damage this does. So to anyone who watched my previous video, sorry for all the breathing noise. Um, it's just a problem I have where I guess the microphone head, or my headset mic is too low. And it ends up sounding like I'm filming on a windy day or I'm making an obscene phone call or something. So I've tried placing the mic at eye level. Hopefully that'll work out okay. Let's see what that videotape I got is all about. Speaking of unwanted video noises, I know that all my videos have this kind of hissing white noise in the background, and I've been doing things to try to eliminate that. The problem is it's my GPU fan on my computer. Uh, it kind of crapped out on me, so I replaced it with a case fan, and no matter how far away I sit, I can always hear that ever so slightly, and it does show up in the videos. So if anyone has any suggestions how to remove that in post-production, don't be shy. Be kind. Rewind. Ooh, it has blood on it. Okay, well, that didn't really do much in terms of advancing the story along. Let's go check out the examination room. That video reminds me of what happened when a VCR would eat a tape, which they would do with some regularity. It's one thing I definitely don't miss about VHS. In general, the fewer moving parts you have, the better, I guess. Examination room. There we go. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. 
When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl? What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl? I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... Mm. Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Okay, interesting little transition to the, uh, light real world again. I did cut out a CGI cutscene of the nurse, Lisa, grabbing Harry when he walked in the room. And to anyone wondering where the music went, I turned that off too, just uh, so I wouldn't get in any copyright trouble. those guys. So yeah, the mark of Samael. I looked into that a little bit and Samael actually was a fallen angel from, uh, I don't know, biblical history, I guess. And arguably he may have been the actual devil. It's a little vague there. I myself don't put too much stock into demonology. 
Nothing against those who do, though. I think religious freedom is a good thing in general. That is, the freedom to practice whatever religion you want, or no religion at all. So I'm headed for that little antique shop. I think that's where we saw the mystery woman going in that little cutscene earlier, which I left intact. Uh, in a previous video, that is. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Ah, oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out, too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out and the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. 
All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Well, that was a little drawn out. There's another interesting reference to that uh, white Claudia drug. What's this? Some kind of altar. Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. That's all there is here. <gasps> what the? Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Harry. Lisa? That I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa. Do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. 
black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in, and everybody clammed up about it. A cult? Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? I don't remember this game being so heavy on exposition. I did just skip another video. Where, uh, he woke up in the hospital again and Lisa said something about the town being founded by a weird cult. Okay, so this is the other world version of the antique shop. Ah. Uh. Well, that hammer seems pretty effective so far. That was a close one. Huh, Vestal. Nice little parody of the Virgin logo. So it looks like the town center is a mall, a big collection of stores. I was hoping I would find a map or a save point. Sure. 
Creepy. type of ammo I like. What else you got for me? First aid kit, yes please. Okay, I'm going to cut this video off right here, and I will continue soon. Thank you for watching.